My friends from Phoenix, Arizona, uh, they wanted to go fishing for salmon on the Russian River. We drove to the Pink Salmon parking lot, and my wife, Mark and Christine, and myself were there, and we divided up my gear, and I had some good gear and some bad gear. And I decided to take some of the bad gear where I got rubber hip boots, and not chest waders, which would have been better, and a bear spray canister that didn't have a safety mechanism on it. <laughs> um, so we walk down to the river and the water is pretty high and Christine and I decide that we're gonna walk across the river first. And before we walked across, I put the bear spray in my front left pants pocket. And we walk across the river, get across the river, Christine gets on the other side and when I try to get on the other side. I lift up my left leg and you hear this sound like it's horrifying and it's um, Three seconds is a really actually a very long time for bear spray to go off in your pants <laughs> um, Christine says, what is that? <laughs> and I said, well, that is actually the bear spray we've all been talking about, like in the car, like, you know, it's bad. And, um, and it, it, it actually, it hurts. Um, <laughs> and I take off my shirt and I take off my pants and I look down at my underwear and there's like this red, thick slime covering my underwear. <laughs> And you can like finger paint with it. <laughs> it it's um, it's burning me. <laughs> so I um, I I take off my underwear, and I um, I I've I've stripped in front of my Liz, my wife's friend, Christine, and, and like randomly there's like 25 fishermen also there <laughs> watching me. Liz gets across the river and she says, what on earth are you doing? And I, and I said, well, honey, I just sprayed my balls with bear spray. And, and the, the pain gets really intense and it's crazy how badly it hurts. And like I am, I'm weeping and I'm sweating and they're, they're supportive, but they're kind of laughing at me. And I start to have this, <laughs> I start to have this like philosophical conversation with myself, like, cause the pain is so bad. I'm like, well, what really, what is pain really, right? <laughs> And then I answered, I thought about it for a little bit, and I answered, I was like, self, pain is spraying yourself in the balls with bear spray <laughs> and having it slowly but surely creep up into your urethra. <laughs> so, so I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm naked. And I didn't bring extra clothes, and Liz brought extra clothes for herself. And she said, you have to put on clothes. And I said, yes, I have to put on clothes. So she gives me her uh, white t-shirt, and I put on her t-shirt, and it's like skin tight. And <laughs> it comes above my belly button. And she gives me her uh, pants, and I put on her pants, and they don't pull up all the way, and they don't zip up all the way. <laughs> and you look down at me, and I have this like exposed like V-shaped pubic area <laughs> that's really uncomfortable. And I, and I look at my friend Mark, who's staring at me, and I said, Mark, listen, if we catch one fish, we'll have fresh salmon for our dinner tonight. <laughs> so he said, really? And I was like, yes, we're going to actually go fishing now. So uh, we start walking up the river, and the pain is so bad, I have to sit in the bottom of the river to numb the lower half of my body. <laughs> and then you walk and sit, walk and sit, walk and sit, and you get up to where we're going to fish, and there's this line of like 25 people fishing and there's a space for me in this line that I, it's open and the fish where I like to catch them, it's right there. So I, I go and stand in this line and uh, I'm about to start fishing. I look to my left and there's this like 10 year old boy standing there <laughs> 
fishing and he is an amazing fisherman. He's doing the Kenai flip like he's like a professional fisherman and I'm, it's really great. And he's got a stringer full of fish and two fish and off of a carabiner. And I realized that I have faced him and I'm staring at him and I realized he stopped fishing and he is <laughs> staring at me and we're like having this extremely awkward moment. And I said, those are really nice fish. And he doesn't say anything back to me, and I realize he's staring over my shoulder, and I look over my shoulder, and there's this man walking right at me, and I realize he does not like me, and I'm, I'm scared of him. <laughs> and he gets right into my face, and he's eyeballing me, and he doesn't say anything, and it's really awkward, and he reaches over, and he picks up his 10-year-old son, and he walks him like 25 yards away from me, <laughs> And they start fishing again, and Liz looks at me, and she says, we need to leave. And I said, yes, we, we need to leave. So we walk back to my truck, and I take off all my clothes, and I'm naked in the Pink Salmon parking lot, and then I put on my boxer shorts, and then we get in the truck, and we drive away. Um, just This is kind of FYI, but after you sprayed yourself in the balls with bear spray, and you get dry and warm, it, the pain intensifies like... Uh, <laughs> 10 times, it's crazy, like, I am, I'm, in, I'm full on weeping, and I'm sweating, and like, the middle third of my body has actually, like, created its own heartbeat, like, it's, <laughs> like, it, it's awful, it's really awful. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, like, this, this has to stop, right? So I get a bear spray canister, and on the back of a bear spray, spray canister, there is a phone number for poison control. <laughs> and I, I dialed poison control and the lady answered. She says, poison control, how can I help you? And I said, well, I sprayed myself with bear spray. And she says, well, where are you? And I said, well, I'm in Alaska. And she says, oh my gosh, Alaska, I've always wanted to go to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, she says, what are you doing? And I said, well, I was fishing. I'm not anymore. And she said, well, I've always wanted to fish in Alaska. <laughs> and then she says, you need to drive home. And I said, I can't really drive home right now. It's two and a half hours away from here. And then she said, you drive two and a half hours to go fishing? <laughs> and I said, listen, I sprayed my balls <laughs> with bear spray. <laughs> and then she paused for like five minutes. Or five seconds, sorry, sorry. And then she says, can you hold? <laughs>